Tonight I'm talking about you are what you eat and so is your skin. Very close to my heart about your nutrition. So your body is made up of tens of trillions of cells and to get this body working properly we have to think what we're putting in here because these cells are moving around the body to give the body cells nourishment and what's doing that is what you're putting in your mouth that's going to nourish these cells to get this all around the body to make this one healthy strong body in body and in mind okay so can you eat your way to better skin yes you can you can why is that because when you eat it's all broken down and this goes into your stomach into your intestines and that goes all around the body to feed you your nourishment so what you eat, putting in here, when your digestive system takes control of that, it goes round and you're wanting to feed the tissues with the best possible ingredients you can give them. So thinking about that when you eat something that you don't feel great after, so you might have ate a big massive pizza or can I say McDonald's and after it you don't feel well, your stomach, everything, and you feel quite lethargic. You know, what you really got to think about is what are you eating when you're feeling 100% fit and healthy? And that's what we're talking about, okay? So things that I like is fatty fish, like salmon. I know salmon's my go-to fish that I eat a lot of, but also people believe that mackerel, sardines, sardines and anchovies, they are so good. Oily fish are so good because they give you the essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids are the, the building blocks to your skin and its layers, okay? So essential fatty acids from fatty fish, thinking about incorporating that into your diet. Red peppers, red bell peppers. I want you to think about a red bell pepper and chopping it up into your salad, roasting it in the oven, a great way to have it. But I want you to know that red bell peppers, there's more vitamin C and you know what I think about vitamin C, there's more red <laughs> vitamin C in that red pepper than there is in an orange. Amazing that, isn't it? So get those red peppers in because vitamin C, remember, stimulates the collagen in the skin, keeps your skin strong and healthy and supple. Okay, so red peppers. Um, another one, spinach. Spinach, now this is the other thing, spinach gives the skin one of my favourite vitamins. It delivers that super antioxidant vitamin A to the skin. And vitamin A keeps the natural hydration in your skin in optimum condition. And vitamin A also causes you to throw off the dead skin cells. It makes the skin smoother and younger looking. So spinach. And a good way to think about having the spinach is, say you made a spinach salad. Yes, I want you to think about that. So you have a spinach salad and then you get a lemon, vitamin C in the lemon. Okay, make a lemon dressing and put it over it because vitamin C plus the vitamin A from the spinach is like, whoa, it's like a wow for skin. Your skin is going to love you and your body is going to love you as well. So spinach salad, coconut. So we're all into, or I hope you're all into, drinking coconut water. It's a marvellous hydration for your skin. And when your skin is hydrated, it really looks younger and it keeps, it's like an anti-aging thing, okay? Coconut water for your skin. But also using coconut oil. I was thinking about something that I haven't made for ages and I do love doing this. If I get a little bit of coconut oil, put it into the pan, fry some halloumi in it. I just love that. The halloumi is nice and crisp and putting that over my salad. So coconut oil is really good for skin. Think about changing from vegetable oil to coconut oil and then you're on the right path. I think it's vitamins E and K that's in this. So coconut oil is an antioxidant. Also it is an anti-inflammatory. Here's a thing, okay? So Coconut oil actually has an anti-inflammatory, so it's good for people with acne or any chronic inflammatory skin disorders. Mm -hmm. Coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Other foods you need to get into your diet. I was thinking about all the ones that I like, obviously. 
avocados, uh -huh. eggs, garlic, walnuts, tomatoes and pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. So thinking about all of that and getting yourself really healthy in body and mind, that's the way forward, super energetic. Now the last thing I want to talk about is the foods to avoid. The foods to avoid. And it's one food that I really want you to remember. To, it's, a, it's got a skull in front of it, a big X, and it's sugar. Sugar or refined carbs, okay? So what's refined carbs? We're thinking about white flour, white bread, pasta. I hope someone's hearing me here. Pasta and pizza, okay? So thinking about those all break down to sugar and sugar is really toxic for the body and the skin sugar does a number of things it causes inflammation chronic inflammation in the body it's bad for a lot of skin disorders so if you have any sort of skin disorder or even acne i want you to be thinking about cutting the sugar out that's going to make a massive difference but remember, during Facebook Live, I'm happy for anyone to ask me questions. Or if you're not watching it live, you can ask me questions in the comments below and I will answer them. If you want to email me, you can email me at joan at glformulations.com with any skin issues and I'll give you lots of advice. Okay, so foods to avoid. We've talked about refined carbs. And really, what do I think about good healthy food? If I've got one lasting thing for you to think about, if you eat good food, good food is nature's own medicine. And I absolutely know that for a fact. Good food is nature's own medicine. Whatever is ailing you, mind or body, I want you to Google it. What food should I eat if I have? And you will get the answer. And it's all about that nourishment. Okay? So have a fantastic week everyone and have a great weekend and make sure you get those soups and those salads and that good food and those lean meats into you and have plenty of salmon. Take care. Bye.